Thank you. Before, uh, before I get started, I would like to say uh, something to Glenn Holterman. Welcome back, Glenn. We're so happy to see you back. All our thoughts and prayers are with you. It was so great to see you tonight. Thank you for coming out. How about a round of applause for Glenn? I would like to first thank the New Jersey PGA Hall of Fame committee members and the New Jersey board for making this induction into the Hall of Fame possible. I would also like to congratulate all the special award winners here this evening and a special congratulations to my fellow Hall of Fame inductee, Jim McGovern. It is a true honor for me to go into the Hall of Fame with Jim. I would like to thank my mom and dad for encouraging me to play this game my mom is here tonight. Love you, Mom. I would like to thank my wife, Linda Ann. I still don't understand why she would, wanted, would have wanted to spend her life with someone who spent way too many hours working and playing. Worse than that was having to listen to me complain about my round or my day when I got home. She always has listened to me patiently and is still as positive and supportive as, as ever, especially when I need her most. Love you, honey. I want to thank my two boys, Ryan and Mark. They have been on this wild ride right from the start. From growing up, living in an apartment above a clubhouse, taking rides in golf carts, running around on the greens, sharing in dad's golf tournament trips, and celebrating the victories, they have been there through all the ups and downs. I hope they have enjoyed it. And now for each of them to be enjoying careers in the golf world, I couldn't be prouder. Love you guys. I want to thank all my friends that are here tonight. Thank you all for coming. It means a great deal to me. And thanks to all the members from Suburban Golf Club not only for your support tonight, but for your friendship for the past 22 years at Suburban. Thank you. In particular, I would like to thank our club president, Dave Melsness, who is here this evening. He has been a big part, not only of my success, but in the development and growth of both Ryan and Mark. Thank you, Dave. My road to becoming a PGA member started as far back as age 13. I would follow my brothers, Mike and Jerry, and start to caddy at Crestmont Country Club. It was there that I was introduced to PGA professional, Pete Famiano. Little did I know at the time that this would be the beginning of Pete becoming my mentor, coach, and friend. At age 16, my family moved to Belmar. Soon after, I would start working for Bobby Muller at Quail Ridge Driving Range in Wall Township. At Quail Ridge, I received my first formal golf lesson from PGA member Archie Pazella. When choosing a college, I would follow my brothers again, this time up to Montclair State University. My fall freshman year, I noticed a sign in the athletic building for tryouts for the golf team. I wasn't a very good player, never having qualified for any junior golf tournament. But I took notice of the site for the tryouts, Crestmont Country Club. And who was the coach? None other than Pete Famiano. I signed up. I shot an 84 that qualifying day, an average score for me at the time. But for some unknown reason, Pete selected me for the team. The Montclair State golf team was full of good players. Some were state boys and junior champions, some were Division I golfers who had transferred and come back to New Jersey. I guess they just missed our wonderful Garden State. Either way, it was a great learning opportunity for me. They all took me under their wing and helped me in every way they could. Guys like Charlie Cowell, Michael Gorman, Jerry Martino, Jim Schubert, Mike Knight, Drew Zeller, Norm Kopak, and Chris Gibson. I got my first job as an assistant golf pro at Gambler Ridge in Jackson Township and entered into the PGA Apprentice Program in 1989. 
There I would work for two years for Brian Jodwin and with PGA members Rick Hughes and Marty Strong. My apprenticeship in the PGA continues as I would begin working for Dan Beveridge at Deal Golf Club. At Deal, I would meet rock and roll legend Vinny Lopez, who is here this evening. Hey, Vinny, thanks for coming. <laughs> Vinny himself was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2014 with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, so congratulations to Vinny. This would be the beginning of a long friendship and a successful relationship as golfer and caddy. After one year at Deal, I moved across the street to Hollywood Golf Club to work for professional Mike Killian. Mike pushed me to get my PGA membership and to apply for head professional positions. In January of 1993, with Pete Famiano's advice leading the way during the interview process, I was selected as the head golf professional at Mount Tabor Country Club a nine-hole private club in Parsippany. I enjoy every year at Mount Tabor. In 1994, I would connect with sports psychologist Dr. Bob Rotella. I would meet with him once a year for the next several years, and we would just sit and talk for hours. I would continue to improve as a player with Doc's help, so much so that at the 1996 New Jersey State Open at Essex Fells Country Club, I actually would have a chance to win. I would lose in a playoff to Ed Whitman, but was now confident that I could compete with the best players in the state. In January of 2000, I accepted the position as the head golf professional at Suburban Golf Club, where I am employed to this day. I enjoy every day at Suburban and every challenge that each day brings. I want to thank all the assistants over the years that have worked for me, in particular for the last 17 years, our current director of instruction, Paul Lejeune. While at Suburban, I have sought the help of many New Jersey PGA professionals, in particular lifetime PGA member Joe Ginger, who is here tonight. Thanks, Joe. And also to my New Jersey PGA Pro Pro partner, Ken Pridgen. I also would like to thank all the PGA teaching pros at Plain Truth Golf, in particular, Jim Hardy and Chris O'Connell. I am grateful for the help of all the PGA professionals that I've mentioned here tonight. And a special thank you to Pete Famiano, who left us all too early, without whom none of this ever would have been possible. Pete always believed in me long before I had ever believed in myself. I wish all of you the good fortune that I have enjoyed in golf and continue to enjoy. Thank you very much.